The Truth About Joe Kwon Joe Kwon, born on August 28, 1989, is a South Korean singer, television host, actor, entertainer and the leader of South Korean boy band 2AM. He has starred in multiple musicals such as Jesus Christ Superstar playing the role of King Harold and Everybody's Talking About Jamie playing as Jamie New. Pre-but, Joe trained at JYP Entertainment for seven years after joining the company. He was chosen as the last member of Park Jin Young's 99% Challenge Project along with SUNY of Wonder Girls. 2AM Career, Main Article, 2AM, Band, in 2008, he appeared on It's Hot Blood. The program showed the intense physical training that 13 male trainees go through to acquire the opportunity to debut in either a four-member bala group or a seven-member dance group. After several elimination steps, Joe was chosen for a position in the four-member bala group 2AM. He became the group's leader. 2AM's first single This Song was released on July 21, 2008. In March 2015, Joe renewed his contract with JYP Entertainment, while three other members of 2AM signed with other agencies. JYP Entertainment assured that the departures did not mean 2AM was disbanding, however 2AM is currently on temporarily break from any group activities. He left JYP Entertainment on September 22, 2017. On November 3, 2017, he signed with Cube Entertainment. Solo career, 2008 to 2009, Variety Entertainment and popularity is Adam Couple. Joe has appeared as a regular panel member on variety shows such as Star King. He was part of Dirty Eye Girls in an episode of 2PM's variety show Wild Bunny, performing a parody of popular Brown Eye Girls song Abracadabra. The music video became popular. In September, 2009, he was one of the main MCs for SBS environmental variety show Find It. Green Gold with Super Junior member Shin Dong, SS501 member Kim Hang Jun, and Fly to the Sky member Brian Ju. He also replaced Jay Park on historical culture variety show No Deji. Citation needed. He joined the cast of We Got Married on October 3, 2009, coupled with Brown Eye Girls member Gaian. Although he was initially only supposed to be featured in the Shuziak special, his appearance brought in the highest ratings yet for season 2, so he was announced as a permanent couple. Joe was diagnosed with H1N1 on October 28, 2009, causing them to postpone filming We Got Married. He recovered quickly after treatment. During his appearance in We Got Married, Joe and Galen were donned the nickname Adam Couple by fans. Together he released the digital single, We Fell In Love, on December 16, 2009, 10, which topped variety online music charts and won two awards on Music Bank's K charts and the most popular background phone music on the Gion charts. 50 million won from the profits of the song were donated for rebuilding after the 2010 Haiti earthquake. In 2010, he became a permanent cast member of Family Outing 2. He made his fifth appearance on the TV show Happy Together in June 2012. He made several appearances on Star King, Invincible Youth S2, Come to Play, Radio Star, Star Dance Battle, and many other shows. He is known for his KKAB dance and often danced on variety shows. KKAB can be translated as hyperactive. 2010 to 2012, screen debut and first solo album, on June 30, 2010, Joe released his first solo digital single titled, The Day I Confessed, a song he partially composed during the We Got Married broadcast for Gaian. The song came first on Psy World Real Time Charts the day after release. The same year, he was cast in the sitcom All My Love with co-stars Park Min Sun, Kim Gav Su and fellow idol and former wife Gaian. On June 25, 2012, he released his solo album, I'm Down One, along with a music video. 2013, musical and drama debut. In 2013, Joe joined the cast of a Korean Jesus Christ Superstar musical production, where he played the role of King Herod. In the same year, on February 27, 2013, he was confirmed as one of the cast for the KBS2 drama Queen of the Office. The drama is about a talented contract worker, and the work and relationships that surround her. 2016 to 2017, second solo album, fourth musical casting, Golden Tambourine, and departure from JYP Entertainment, Joe's new album Crosswalk included three tracks, two of which he wrote. The lead single, Crosswalk, and the third track, Flutter. The second track, It's OK, was written by Ryan S. Jin and Denzel Dr. Remedios, the music producers of SM Entertainment's Shani and F. X. Popular songwriters Esna and A produced the title song. On March 17, 2016, it was announced by JYP Entertainment that Joe would be participating in the musical on A Starry Night as the role Choi Sung Kyun. The musical ran from May 7 to May 15, 2016. 
On November 10, 2016, it was announced that Joe Kwan would be co-starring on Golden Tambourine, a karaoke variety program broadcast by MIT, which ran from December 15, 2016, until February 23, 2017. On September 21, 2017, it was announced that Joe had officially left JYP Entertainment after 16 years. However, 2AM never did announce that they were disbanding and it is presumed that the group is on hiatus. On November 2, 2017, it was announced that Joe had signed with Cube Entertainment. 2018 present, Lonely, on January 10, 2018, Joe released the digital single. Lonely, his first release after joining Cube Entertainment. Joe was set to enlist in the Korean Army in August 2018, for his mandatory military service. On July 24, 2019, it was confirmed that he would release a special single new theme song for the Rock Army with collaboration of Shinizo Nu and Ki, EXO's Human, Infinite's Kim Sung Q, BTLB's Lee Chang Sub, 2AM's Jin Woon, Yoon Ji Sung and actors Kim Min Shiok, and Lee Jae Kai Yoon in mid-August. As part of South Korea's effort to combat COVID-19, Joe officially discharged from the military early on March 24, 2020. He also made his first variety show appearance after being discharged on JTBC's Knowing Brothers alongside 2PM's Wu Young, Block B's PO and Winner's Mino on April 4, 2020. In July 2020, Joe Kwan starred in the musical Everybody's Talking About Jamie, playing the role of Jamie New, a 16-year-old high school student who dreams to be a drag queen and deals with prejudice and bullies. Personal life, as of 2013, Joe was attending Pyonghee University. He entered Pyonghee University without taking the entrance examination, with rumors alleging favoritism, because he was an entertainer. The rumors were refuted by his performance at the top of his class in his major. In 2015, he enrolled in the Performing Arts Department of Kyungi University's graduate program. Joe is the president of the serial cafe franchise Midnight in Seoul, which was founded and owned by actor-singer Yoon Kai-sang and three friends. The cafe serial bar was the first of its kind in Seoul and gained popularity amongst K-pop idol singers through word of mouth. In May 2017, it was announced that the venture would become a franchise and that Joe would be named its president, while Yoon and others would remain official owners. Awards and Nominations Year, 2009 Psy World Digital Music Awards Song of the Month, December, We Fell in Love, With Got In, 1, 2010 Song of the Month, January, 1, Gion Char Grand Opening Awards January Week 1 Digital Chart Overall Number 1 1, January Week 2 Digital Chart Overall Number 1 1, January Week 3 Digital Chart Overall Number 1 1, January Week 4 Ring Back Tone Number 1 1, 4th Minute 20's Choice Awards Most Influential Top 20 Stars Joe Kwan 1, 3rd Korea Sharing Awards The National Assembly Standing Committee's Chairman Award 1, Melon Music Awards Song of the Year We Fell in Love, With Got In, Nominated, Netizen Popularity Song Nominated, 12th Net Asian Music Awards Best Collaboration 1, Bugs Music Awards Song of the Year Nominated, Best Duet, Gold, 1, Best Variety Star, Bronze, We Got Married 1, MBC Entertainment Awards Show, Variety Male Rookie Award We Got Married 1, Best Couple Award With Got In 1, SBS Entertainment Awards Variety New Star Award Inca Gaia 1, 2011 MBC Entertainment Awards Comedy Slash Sitcom Popularity Award All My Love 1.